Yeah, this week um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Uh, I'm still working on the bed. The bed is more or less finished, but I still have to do a few things before I put it in. So that's what I'm working on. I'm also working on the water inlet. Uh, so that's another thing that's uh, going on. Uh, and even though I still have to do the upper cabinets, um, I'm turning my focus to the kitchen area here. There, there'll be a kitchen here from side to side. I'll have a, a very uh, narrow kitchen countertop, uh, 15 or 18 inches if, if at all possible. That leaves me about a foot or so uh, in storage room behind it. But before that, I really need to do some insulation of the ceiling because at a certain point I cannot reach that anymore. Uh, I have to do most of my wiring will be on the passenger side of the car so I'll, I'll have to start working on the wiring too before I'm putting all kinds of cabinets in. So what I decided to do with the ceiling is use very likely three half inch layers I like this one this is a half an inch layer and then on top of that will be uh, some Luan or something to cover the uh, insulation. I got uh, all four ceiling cross members done with the denim. So next step is uh, the poliso. I tried a few others so I know a little bit about what I'm doing now. Okay, that's fine. First width I need is 22 and a half. So let's see. I'll keep the shiny part on the outside. a copy of a Mondrian painting, a modern painting, and what I did on the computer is, is made a copy out of it and an outline with some measurements where the lines are coming uh, and I'm going to copy those lines with a pencil on the canvas. Uh, that's the first step. Now I can fill in the collars and then when the collars are done and dry I can draw the black lines on top of that. Thank you. 
I decided to use three separate layers of uh, half an inch polyiso um, and there were several reasons for that. First of all, the first layer has a convenient uh, opening in the side where I can slide in the first layer so that will make a very good connection uh, and then I'll add two more layers on top of that. And then a piece of tape to close the gap, although there's not much of a gap here. What you can see is I used uh, half an inch layers of polyiso um, and I put in three layers. This was the first, the second, and I just put in the third layer. And it stays more or less on level with these cr cross members, although in the front it's a little bit thicker. So we'll see how that works out. Um, so in total I would have about one and a half inch and that would equate to about uh, an R value of 10. Hi guys, this is Joey, and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.